hello, hello. I'm Reverend Sharon Renee, Senior Minister for the Unity of Dayton here in Dayton, Ohio. I want to welcome you to this week's episode of Mindful Living, where we nurture your body, your mind, and your spirit. And let's start off with this week's affirmation, a good one transitioning into the new year. I rejoice in the journey of transformation, trusting in my ability to flourish in new environments. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but let's say it again, all right? I rejoice in the journey of transformation, trusting in my ability to flourish in new environments. And I think that's a really important affirmation because at the end of the year, we like to get all ready for the new year and we make these, what they call New Year's resolutions. And um, in church, we have what we call the burning bowl and the white stone ceremonies. And this year we're combining the two. And the burning bowl can be twofold. One, it can be releasing this past, the previous year and moving forward. And the other can be setting an intention that you want to release out into the universe. And the white stone is about creating a new name for ourselves or a new um, thing that we want in our life. And it started, actually, this comes from the biblical um, references of where people's names were changed, like Saul went to Paul, and once they were enlightened and once they were transformed, they took on a new name. And this is where the white stone comes in. But a lot of times, instead of like changing, okay, I'm gonna go from Sharon to Rita, you know, and be Rita for a year, and the next year I'll change it again, we don't really take it that way. We actually come up with names or adjectives that we want. So for me, my I have two things is I want life um, uncomplicated. So uncomplicated is one of mine and then creative is the other. So I want everything uncomplicated and creative at the same time. So you decide what is right for you, but this is part of that release and that moving towards the new year. And Sunday's topic is on respond and rejoice. It's again, letting go, being born anew, starting over. Now remember, we can do that every single day. We don't have to just focus on it once a year. And I think that's important. But it's respond and rejoice and embracing new beginnings. All right, so here's the thing that's really important is that we take these ceremonies and this idea of like creating vision boards or signing up for the gym and we get all gung-ho about it and then we stop. We don't do anything because you know what? Change is uncomfortable. And the thing is that we are too lazy to change our patterns. Now if I made you do that, well then I'll, that's good. I want you to think about it because my role as spiritual leader is not just to inspire you, but to hold you accountable. Are you applying the unity teachings? Are you applying new thought teachings? Are you applying and being active in the changes you want in your life? Because we can't just read about it. We can't just hear about it and do nothing and <gasps> we're elevated. So it takes, it's a process and it takes work and it takes energy. And so there's some things that we need to think about in moving this forward is that our accountability. So wherever we're at in this moment in time, it's because of a choice we made. So it's holding ourselves accountable. It's practicing forgiveness. And a lot of times it's not other people, it's ourselves or even God, but that forgiveness opens the door. And it's not about getting other people to forgive you. It's about you forgiving yourself and also forgiving others if you're still carrying that old story with you. Action, there's a call to action. And I don't mean forcing your way through something, but it's the action to attain the dream or the desire that you want. So like if you wanna lose 50 pounds, you just don't sit in meditation and just do that. You also think about, do I need to drink more water? Do I need to move my body? What does my body need? Do I need to go to the gym? Do I want to, take more walks. So it's again, this actionable step. Service, how can I be of service to humanity? And whatever you're passionate about usually will serve humanity. So it's stepping in and embracing that so you can be of service. Happiness, choosing to be happy, complaining less. And I know that when I go down into that rabbit hole, I complain about everything. 
So it's um, choosing to be happy, looking in the mirror, and even giving yourself permission to laugh and to say, today I am going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. And the other thing is faith. Applying faith and knowing that that desire within you to make those changes is God coming through you so that you can grow and have a new experience. So there's a lot more to creating New Year's resolutions to a burning bowl ceremony and a white stone ceremony. If you take it to heart and if you take it in the sacredness that it is intended and allow yourself to move forward and to be uncomfortable in change. But if you do, your health will improve, your relationships will improve, your abundance will change. Everything in your world would change and shift by taking the appropriate action. So I want to encourage you to not just make this list of ideas, but also what is it that I'm really wanting? What is my heart guiding me to do? Where am I being guided to go? God, where, what shall I say? God, what shall, where shall I go? God, what would you have me do? All of these things can be very important in moving forward. Resistance is going to show up, but just to say, God's got this, and I'm moving forward. So here's to your growth, here's to your abundance, here's to your health and happiness in, a, in the new year. Namaste.